hi students in our last class we saw how lakshmana shastra handled the situation the incident with a new teacher after school they all i mean abdul kalam and his friends went home and told their respective parents about the incident that happened what was the incident the incident was when the new teacher came to the class he made abdul kalam to sit at the back row why because he was a muslim boy and sitting with the hindu boy in the same row just next to each other so this incident was brought to the parents after the school and lakshmana sastri called the teacher and in a, their presence he told the teacher that he should not spread the poison of social inequality and communal intolerance in the minds of innocent children he bluntly he plainly he openly asked the teacher to either apologize or quit the school and the island not only did the teacher regret his behavior but the strong sense of conviction conviction means what opinion or belief his belief lakshmana shastri conveyed ultimately reformed this young teacher he did not only regret his misbehavior or his mistake but also he reformed he changed into a new person welcoming all the religions or all the students seeing all the students equally so what happened next on the whole the small society of rameswaram was very rigid in terms of the segregation segregation means what separation of different social groups however my science teacher shiva subramanian ayer though an orthodox brahmin with a very conservative wife he was an orthodox brahmin very strict brahmin means uh, following the rules of hindus very strictly as well as he had a conservative wife the same kind of traditional wife was something of a uh, rebel rebel means what saying something against or resist or not be able to change one's opinion she was not able to change her way of behaving a way of uh, believing things who well, he did his best to break social barriers who Shiva Subramanian Iyer, a science teacher, did all his best to change or break social barriers so that people from varying backgrounds could mingle easily. Students as well would be able to mingle with each other beyond their religious or religion indifferences. He used to spend hours with me and would say kalam i want you to develop so that you are on par with the highly educated people of the big cities so this was the encouragement of his science teacher requesting kalam to study hard so that he would be equal with the highly educated people of big cities one day he invited me invited kalam to his home for a meal his wife was horrified by looking at a muslim boy coming into her house at the idea of a muslim boy being invited to dine to eat in her ritually pure kitchen a ritually pure kitchen means the kitchen is protected is kept protected from all outside influences for the observances of religion so she refused to serve abdul kalam in her kitchen shiva subramanian here was not 
perturbed means he was not disturbed by the behavior of his wife nor did he get angry with his wife he did not even get angry with his wife because he very well knew about his wife that she wouldn't like all these things in order to change her conservative ideas he brought abdul kalam to his house to dine with him but instead served him with uh, his own hands and sat down beside him to eat his meal look at the first step of his science teacher his wife watched us from behind the kitchen door i wondered whether she had observed any difference in the way i ate rice drank water or cleaned the floor after the meal abdul kalam was wondering whether she had observed that he ate in different ways from uh, them theirs or even drinking water so all the the way of eating and drinking water and cleaning the meal everything she was observing and abdul kalam was wondering whether he was doing it wrong different from their ways when i was leaving his house shiva subramani iyer invited me to join him for dinner again the next weekend observing my hesitation he told me not to get upset saying once you decide to change the system such problems have to be confronted confronted means what faced or tackled so this was the encouraging words to abdul kalam if you decide to change something you need to face the consequences problems when i visited his house the next week shiva subramania iyer's wife took me inside her kitchen and served me food with her own hands so this transformation took place in her then the second world war was over and india's freedom was imminent imminent means what about to come about to occur indians will build their own india declared gandhi ji gandhi ji said this we need to form our own india after getting freedom from british so the whole country was filled with an unprecedented optimism so they they had their own tendency to build their own ideas so i asked my father for permission to leave rameswaram and study at the district headquarters in ramanathapuram now the people were freely to move to different district or different places to go for their further study so he requested his father to go he told me as if thinking aloud as though he was thinking in his mind he said aloud abul maybe his pet name is abul in the family abul i know you have to go away to grow once you go out i mean once you expose yourself to the outside outside world then you would learn a lot you would develop your personality and everything through your experience you need to go out somehow does the sea gull not fly across the sun the sea gull is a sea bird dark usually it is in dark in color with short legs alone with alone and without a nest so sea gull usually doesn't fill a build any nest so it doesn't have any nest and just flies across the sun and it remains in water for longer time so he quoted khalil gibran khalil gibran is an american writer poet and philosopher so he quoted his quotation to my hesitant mother he told this to abdul kalam's mother why because 
maybe the mother did not like abdul kalam going out for his further studies and he said to his mother his own wife your children are not your children why he said this you may have given birth to him right birth to them but they are not directly from you they have they have come with the gift of god god has given them life god has given you they are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself their life life's longing for itself he quotes they are sons and the daughters of the society of the country so they come through you but not from you you may give them your love but not your thoughts you can take care of them you can love them but you cannot give them or teach them to think the same way as you think no not your thoughts your own thoughts cannot be put into their minds so they have their own thoughts and they develop through education for they have their own thoughts so this what abdul kalam's father says to his mother to comfort her in order to send abdul kalam for his higher studies so it is an extract from wings of fire it's all about the childhood story of apj abdul kalam i hope so far the extract is clear to you if you have any doubt in the uh, childhood of abdul kalam you can discuss in the class thank you